What up, Jeep fam? We are at the fuel station right now. We're going to grab some drinks and some snacks. We're going to get up to the shop. We are actually going to be finishing the full frame today, hopefully, <laughs> on the Overland boat trailer build. You guys stay tuned. We'll see you at the shop. All right, y'all, we're gonna move this contraption into the shop. <clears throat> we're gonna get started on her. So what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna be doing the uprights, the frame on the top, supports and everything. We're gonna be, have, get the suspension put on, get everything ready to rip. So you guys stay tuned. This is gonna be a good one today. I just strap that little axle thing under there, all good. <laughs> just grab the strap it on there. Yeah. All right, y'all. <clears throat> We're bolting the suspension up real quick so we can get the wheels and tires put on here so that way we get an exact height of where the trailer is going to sit. And then <clears throat> we'll start building our uprights. But right now, what we're doing is we're going to have to clearance this washer and this washer because of the weld, which isn't that big of a deal. It's perfectly fine. But we're gonna get these uh, clearance and then we're gonna get the suspension bolted up. We're gonna throw the wheels and tires on and get an exact height. And then once we do that, we'll be able to figure out exactly what we're gonna do for the uprights, which we already kind of agreed on that we're gonna do uh, about a four foot upright. And that'll give us a two foot over top of the boat for a later project, you'll have to stay tuned for that. But um, we'll get this done and then uh, we'll show you guys when it's sitting on its own wheels and tires. Look at that. Looks like a fucking trailer again. That's for fancy. Yeah. She rolls like a freaking dream too. That's nice. <clears throat> so yeah. And then we'll build fenders to go over top because we're not priming the beans. So, but yeah, you guys can see how the suspension works now. Just like that, tucked in. Super nice. Nothing going across. Nothing going across there. So, good ground clearance. We'll be able to send her over some things. So, we're going to go up four foot. Yeah, that'd be decent, I think. Mean. We are gonna go on each corner, right? Yeah, right on the corner here. Yeah. And, and then there. meet up directly across yeah. with this one right here. Yeah. So we might have to I'll grind that, grind that corner and that one and go all the way around, but. Yeah, four foot would be there. So it'd be six foot. Yeah. Cause then I can, I can grab fucking whatever up here. You're still fucking a foot and a half shorter than where you're at. Well, actually, you know what? Let's go up six foot two. So four foot two uprights. Yeah, because if we go up six foot, I'm gonna have to duck. <laughs> so I go underneath. The <laughs> well, actually, no, no, I won't because the rooftop tent has those like an inch fucking pieces. Yeah. So I should be okay. So let's just go up six foot and make it easier. But, so if we go six foot up, this is just for tubing reference. Mm -hmm. Are we, I plan on laying the tubing on top. Yes. And then you'll have either these ends or the outside ends open. We can cap them if you want. Yeah, we're going to cap them. So you're going to actually gain two inches of tube. Two inches. You're going to use a two inch tube, right? Yeah. Or yeah. you want me to subtract it so it's two, it's four foot on top finished. But then you're gonna have a two inch hang down, you know what I'm saying? If it's four foot off the frame of the top, the tubing's hanging down two inches, or I go four foot now, the bottom of the tube is four foot up, and then you're actually gonna be two inches higher. Let's do that. Four foot up, and then four on foot top, up, right? Yeah. And then a two inch tube on top. So we're gonna gain two inches of height. Yeah, so the bottom of the the 
bottom of that tube would be at four foot. Yeah. And then we'll put the brace wherever we think. Wherever the fuck I can good. think of. Yeah. All right, well, I got a shit ton of tubing. Actually, I can use these drops. I'm going to finish those off. Um, so, yeah. So, what we're doing, guys, we're doing four foot uprights. And then at the top of that upright, we're going to come all the way across with a another tube. So the bottom of that tube that comes across here that spans the center is going to be at four foot. The top of that tube, because it's a two inch tube, is going to be at four foot two, which will be able to give me six foot two of clearance above my head so I don't have to duck going underneath the rooftop tent when it's folded out, which is key because you don't want to have to duck, you know, it's not, it's not a very good thing. So basically what we're doing now, grinding off the corners so we can get some welding done for the upright. Once we get those placed in, welded, it'll look normal and, well, it'll look like a Frankenstein boat trailer once the uprights are on, but you guys will, you'll fucking get it. Right now we're cutting the uprights over there. You can see Josh is lining it up right now. Um, that piece you just took off, it's gonna be one of the uprights that comes up. And then the boat trailer, or the boat, will fit right in between those and path action. Ow! Salide. Just throw the rooftop tent up there now. Yeah. What a <laughs> call it there. Call it there. Are you leaving this? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving that. Put the fucking tube. Do what you do, though. So that way, it's... I'll run a nice beater on the top, and then... Yeah. It'll be flush with the actual tube. Pretty fucking flush. That's weird. <laughs> it's like, we know what the hell we're doing. Don't forget, y'all. <laughs> this is the most important part, is to make sure that these uprights are square, because if they're not, then the whole thing's gonna be cockeyed and twisted. Do you wanna do a solid tube running this way? That's what I was thinking. And then meet the tube here on that way. Wherever you want to do the ends, like lengthwise cap or the outside. I'm gonna cap them probably on the bench before. Yeah. Well, I was, I was thinking I'd rather have this tube set on top of here. So that way the weight of the thing is coming down on top of here. Yeah. Because the front isn't really gonna have much right. fucking weight. It's just time to go. Well, I might build a fucking tray you know, on top. Yeah. And then you need the welds will put all that shit in place. You need a couple of cross pieces in the middle. Couple of cross. Yeah, yeah, for the rooftop tent to sit down. Even if it's Yeah. Even if it's even if it's fucking four. Evenly spaced. So guys, basically what we're doing right now is we are making sure all the uprights are square, and then we're gonna weld in the tubes. The edges right here are going to be set on top of these uprights to run from the front to the back. The ones that cross the span from side to side, they're going to sit inside this tube up here. And then we're doing four cross tubes in the center of these. So that way, the center tubes, where it'll be where the rooftop tent sits on. And that way, I can actually move the rooftop tent around wherever I want it to go. But I'll also have since it's much wider than our rooftop tent is wide when it's closed, I'll have the ability to at least put on one side. Um, I have these, the conduits that I had before, the conduit holders for the onboard water system and the, um, the fishing poles and stuff. I'm gonna actually run probably two or three of these. So I'll have two different ones for fishing poles 
and then a, a full 10 foot stick basically of PVC to do another onboard water system, but a much larger onboard water system with a four inch piece of tubing about, what is this, nine feet? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll probably run it about nine foot. So it'll be almost a full stick. And that'll give us a lot larger volume of water, keep it kind of uh, contained, but I'll spray it black. So that way when the sun heats it, uh, shines on the, the tube, it'll heat up the water on the inside as well. So basically what we're doing right now, we're squaring up the top section over here, making sure it stays within what we need it to be. And then he's gonna end up tacking it into place a little bit more securely. All right, all you guys can tell, we got the two side pieces up. We are going to be uh, welding them in place. We're doing the cross sections that go across now. And then I'm gonna do four, four pieces of inch and a half in the center, make them all flush on the top side of the tube. So that way the whole top side of, this, uh, of the trailer is going to be an even plane so I can slide stuff around wherever I need it to slide around without having it like drop down or do anything like that. So but yeah, it's coming together, it's coming together. All right y'all, what you can see he's doing right now, he's tacking this center section tube in. We got the two uprights tacked in for the long sides. And basically, this section is tacked in, tacking the front section after we get done with this. Then we do the center supports. All right, as you can see, he is tacking in the center supports. So you guys get on up out. Tacking in the center supports so that way we have a place to put our rooftop tent up on the top. We're evenly spacing these. We are putting four coming across the front to the back. So that way we have a better distribution for the rooftop tent. And the rooftop tent is held in place by three different uh, attachment points. So that's what we're doing here. That way it's the same as what's on top of the Wrangler. Um, what we'll end up doing is actually, the reason I wanted four instead of just three, because it gives me a lot better chance to utilize the space up top to do other things as well. All right, all you guys can see, he has started uh, fully welding everything. We're gonna get the fenders done today, and we're also going to get the uh, all the gusseting done today, and it's gonna be fully welded, and then we're gonna work on some other stuff that you guys will probably end up seeing in the other, in the next episode, but we'll get some close-up shots of some weldy bits for you. One of these days, I'm gonna catch my microphone on fire. Oh, you work on Said you're meant to burn as bright as a star among the midnight sky. All the pressure blinded me, but now I see I'm not different from the rest. You said I'd fly away.
reaching for that open door Show me proof that there is something more I just hope I am okay With the choices I make Maybe then I'll understand You said I'd fly away Got it. <laughs> That's how you do it right there.